Hi, I'm Andrew Berry and welcome to At The Bench and welcome to another product review. I've got for you today a micromotor. Um, not many of you would have seen a micromotor. You normally see pendant drills, you normally see Dremels, your handheld uh, polishing and uh, texturing devices and drills. Um, but what I've got here is a strong 207B micromotor. It's a little self-contained unit. You don't have a big uh, motor as you would do with the pendant motor with the flexi shaft coming down to the handpiece. What you've got is a simple little box that sits upon your bench and from that then you have a simple cable that goes to a handpiece and within this handpiece is the actual motor. So you don't have that big heavy flexi shaft coming down and trying to handle it. It really is a very neat machine. Uh, this is quite an inexpensive machine. I think it's roughly around about £250 plus the VAT uh, here in the UK. Um, it, it, it is a very good machine. It's very quiet. It's um, got a variable control here. It goes from obviously from zero right up to I think it's 35,000 revs. That really is really, really fast. And the beauty about the pieces is the fact that you don't have, as I said, that cable coming down that really gets in the way. With this, you've simply got this little bit of a, a curly cord that comes out of the main unit and you can use this to your heart's content. You can bring it down, around, upside down, put it wherever you want to without having the restrictions of being attached to the motor. So, as I said, what you've got is the box here. On the back of the unit here, you've simply got the fuse that goes in here. You've also got this control here, not a control, it's a socket and it's an optional foot control. This machine comes with the foot control and it's simply an on or an off. So you tap the foot control, similar to a pendant motor foot control, but it simply turns the machine on, release it, the machine goes off. On the front here you've got your on off and you've also got, this is where the, the, uh, the motor actually plugs into it. You've also got a forward and a reverse as well, which again is going to be very useful if you're polishing. And when you're polishing, you've got your, your mops. Instead of the polish coming around into your face, you can turn it the opposite way and it will take the polish away from you. So as I said, it's a very, very good machine. I'll show you a little quick demonstration now. You've got the simple on-off and you can turn the control and you can hear how quiet that is if I hold it up to the microphone here. And you can turn it and turn it and turn it and turn it right up to 35,000. Now that really is very, very fast. And there is hardly any vibration within this handpiece at all. Um, it's an air cooled, so basically there's fans in here that will actually spin it round. Now, again, the advantage that you've got with this particular handpiece is that you don't need a chuck key. You simply twist the unit towards you, or the left hand side towards you, the right hand side away from you, like that, which then releases the chuck here, so you can take out the piece, the burr or the polishing mop or whatever you've got, and you can put the new one in and simply twist it the opposite way, which then puts it into place, and you're away. It's as simple as that. Wait till it stops, twist it, take it out, new one, pop that in, twist it, and you're away. And it really is as fast and as quick to change burrs and polish your mops as that. The unit is a, a self-contained unit. It's got a fuse on the end here on the back, should it happen to fuse. And also within the box here, it comes with a spare fuse. It also comes with two carbon brushes that fit within the handpiece as well. So you can ensure that it's gonna last you for many, many years. It also contains two spanners as well. And that is to adjust the end here that adjusts to the, um, the tightness that the self-adjusting chuck grabs onto the shaft of your burrs or your mops. It takes standard 2.35 millimeter shafts here you have to insert this shaft at least 10 millimeters into the handpiece as well, just to ensure it gets a really good grip of it. So you can push it all the way in or bring it in halfway out if you want to give yourself a bit more of a distance. If you didn't want to use the foot control, there's a simple on off switch here as well. So you can simply turn the machine on and off. 
and you can obviously change the speed with the step. It says you hit a speed controller here in 1000 revs, so it goes say, from naught right up to 35,000. And it also comes with this little rubber stand as well, so you can stand the, the drill on as well. It doesn't have a hook, so you can't necessarily hang it up. It just sits upon the stand, right on the side of your bench, out of the way, simply bring it into control, so bring it into control, bring it into use as and when you need it, tap the foot foot control, and you can work away. It does have the advantage of the fact that the speed will stay where you put it onto the dial here, dial here. So you don't have to use the foot control to ease the speed and to make the speed go faster and then release the foot control. So you can simply leave your foot pushed onto the foot control and it goes at the same speed. You want to adjust the speed, you simply turn the control and it just spins away. You do have to be careful with what you're using in the handpiece. If you're using bristle brushes, then you don't really want to take it up to 35,000 revs and try to polish it because those bristles are going to just be self-destruct. It's going to go everywhere. So you do have to be careful with what speeds you, you put it at. If you look at the uh, tool suppliers uh, catalogs and also if you have a box of birds or whatever, it'll actually say the maximum speed that that particular tool should be taken to. But then you can use the speed control for that. You've got 0 to 35,000, so halfway you're looking roughly about 17,500 revs. And to me, that's fast enough. So that's the Strong 207B Micromotor, available from Sutton Tools in the UK and from other tool suppliers around the world. I'm Andrew Berry for The Bench. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.